Charleston's Brett Spore knew he wanted to be different than his older brother. I somewhat am trying to follow those footsteps with the success, but like also try to have a different path. Just try to like be my own player. Brett's brother Corey was a running back for Charleston, leading them to a 4-2 and two COVID season before graduating. When we played in the spring, he was our number one running back. With Corey graduated, Brett is making his own mark on the field as a starting quarterback for the Trojans. Spore has thrown for 747 yards and eight touchdowns so far this season, but it's his legs that make him a true dual threat. But if Brett wasn't a quarterback, he would probably be one of our top running backs because he really sticks his nose in there and drops his shoulder and takes off and goes. Brett's really versatile. He can scramble. He's fast. He can also hit his targets when he needs to. I think they got to like just watch out for that and then it like spreads out their defense more so they can't just focus on one thing. Spore has five rushing touchdowns to go along with 170 yards on the ground. And after the team's first win last week over Taylorville, the Trojans are ready to make it back-to-back -back wins over Mattoon and the Coles County Clash in Friday Football Fever Spotlight Game of the Week with Brett's biggest fan in the stands. He comes and supports me. He's probably my number one supporter. In Charleston, I'm Bryce Beeman, WCIA 3 Sports. Help us tackle hunger by bringing a monetary donation or non-perishable food item to the game as we partner with the Eastern Illinois Food.